I think it's rather hilarious that before your Hollywood film career, you were put in charge of animals at Opryland in Nashville. And you, you mentioned in some of your writing that that experience helped inform you as a, as a film director. Can you speak to that funny uh, episode in your life? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I was at Duke University. I had, I had gotten my undergraduate degree, which is what you, know, you call college right around the world. And I had done an additional year of graduate school in the, uh, the Divinity School. Um, but I had not, I, I really wanted to explore my writing more than a, uh, say, a professional call into uh, the Christian ministry. But um, I had seen a, an, an opportunity in Nashville, uh, auditions that they were having for this place called Opryland. And, and I went and auditioned with an original song that I had written. The song was called Me and the D-O-G, and it was about a, a man who um, uh, is, is stuck in a bad relationship and, um, uh, and has to kowtow to his wife's dog, uh, and that's how bad his marriage is. So they found that funny when they were, and I meant it to be funny, when I auditioned with that song, and they offered me a job, a permanent job, as manager of animal shows at this theme park. And in the animal shows, there were barnyard animals trained to play musical instruments. Uh, and uh, we, we had a pig named Pigarachi, and uh, it, was, it was really corny. But it was also fabulous experience. It was, it was great fun. Uh, the audiences loved it. We had six to 8,000 people every day come through and watch that show. And I was 22 years old, responsible for the, the whole operation of a show that included trained barnyard animals and, and actors who were trained to work with these animals and the combination of music and, um, and visuals. And I was getting really incredible experience about directing, particularly in, in the management of people. Um, and um, I did that for, for uh, two and a half years. And it was, uh, it was great fun. And I also was able to explore full-time writing then. And, and I learned a great deal. And, and, and even uh, most of that writing was songwriting and I, I, was, I was training myself to write dialogue for movies without ever knowing that that's what I was doing. I, I was just trying to write songs. But song lyrics have to be lyrical and economical and you're limited maybe 12 to 16 lines in a song. And... Um, and when I started writing screenplays, writing dialogue was completely natural to me, uh, largely from that experience. 